the beauty that you're going to see right here of the log wheels in combination with the primaries is this. Let's say we want to do like a typical teal and orange sort of look, like a really cool look. So we want to create that. So I'm going to start with my lift. I'm going to pull it down a little bit, something like that. And now my skin is out of whack. So let's balance it out with my gamma. So I'm going to raise it up a little bit. I'm going to add like that warmth. I'm going to bring that back in. And, you know, that does not look too bad, right? So that's pretty good. But the one thing that I'm noticing is that, you know, this offset on the black points at the bottom is a bit too harsh. And this is where I go into my log wheels and look what I'm going to do with my shadow. I'm going to balance the image out. Just look what I just did. So if I do before and after, how much I balance the image out. Now you might be thinking, but dude, you made it very different than what it was. But if I turn this on and off and look at the DNA is still there. Let's say we go back into our lift gam again and we do a push and pull a little bit more. So now I brought it down a little bit more and now I take his skin and I, you know, put it in that world a little bit more. And if I go in my log wheels, what I can do now is in my shadow, I can lift it a little bit, right? So it's not super crushed and I can put it right here. So now if I do before and after, just realize how much of the look DNA we created with lift gamma gain in conjunction with the log wheels. And this is what I meant when I said you have to use them together. One does not come after the other. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, then I highly encourage you to check out this training. It will answer any question that you may have as a beginner colorist and then some. It also comes with tons of freebies, practice footage, power grades, and LUTs. Link is going to be in the description. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next video.